Hello, my name's Mercy Morris. I was going to open my home under the National Garden Scheme this year as the first person to open just for houseplants. However, COVID-19 came along and put a stop to that. Houseplants are really important to us in times of trouble because they bring the proven psychological benefits of plants in green spaces into our own homes, enabling us to feel at peace. Growing plants indoors also gives us an opportunity to fulfil our urge to nurture, one of humankind's strongest urges. So each time I look at these plectranthus in a range of glasses and mugs on my windowsill, I can focus on the new roots growing and look forward to a bright future. Growing plants gives us the opportunity to have a hobby that we can share with friends both old and new online. This is often a vital lifeline to the young, the old and the isolated. Philodendron Brazil is a great climber or trailer for lower light conditions. That central golden flash makes it really eye-catching. My oldest plant is a Swiss cheese plant, Monstera Deliciosa. I've had this plant for over 30 years and I find the trick to stopping them getting straggly is to chop them up and replant the pieces about once every three to five years. This means that you will always have a glossy, good looking but easy to handle plant. Spider plants are a great choice if you want something to cascade down your shelves or over your bookcases. There are probably up to 16 different types of spider plant so it's well worth keeping your eyes open to see if you can find one that appeals to you. Producing flowers and offsets regularly, they are an absolute gift to those with not enough time to spend on plant care. Sansevieria trifasciata Lorentzii, often known as the snake plant, is a plant that will grow as long as its name willing to take almost any amount of grief from its owner. It will put up with low light conditions, direct sunlight and all sorts of pain. Tillandsia tectorum is an air plant that is not for those of us who overwater our plants. It likes a lot of sunshine and not a lot of water. But in return for this, you get a delicate plant that looks like a constellation of snowflakes. Tillandsia butsii is my favourite air plant. It's great for a north or east facing window and with its dark green and dark red stripes, it looks like a sea monster. It's easy to get it to flower and produce seed. So it's really good as a first time air plant. Asparagus ferns aren't ferns, but they are asparagus, as you can see from this shoot here. They are absolutely ideal if you love the ferny look, but you kill ferns on a regular basis. These plants will put up with all sorts of conditions and all sorts of levels of care and bounce back looking graceful and elegant. Plants are also great for giving you a surprise to start the day with. I've been waiting several weeks for my Tillandsia fuchsiae var gracilis to flower because it's been in bud for about two months. And whilst I was waiting for this to flower, I took my eye off Tillandsia albertiana and lo and behold, they broke out in fantastic scarlet flowers. Houseplants are really important to us because they give us the opportunity to witness growth and change. Have a look at the tiny flowers on this peperomia, also known as the turtle vine. To many people, their plants become long-lived companions. 
almost as important and indispensable in their lives as their beloved pets. Growing a range of plants, both familiar and unfamiliar to you, gives you the chance to develop new skills and find new aspects of the hobby to become obsessed with. Whether you are a collector of plants or prefer to grow little bits and pieces of everything. <laughs> <laughs>